Hey there, Crafty Jenna Bug here. I was gifted this kit and decided I would try it out on video for the channel. I've never done embroidery. I've done a lot of cross stitch, um, but never, never actual embroidery. So this kit uh, includes everything you need to make two of the projects. Flip it over. These are the projects you could make. This one and this one are included in here, but this kit has iron-on transfer sheets for all 10 of the projects. So, um, it says inside you'll find a six inch hoop, two pieces of fabric, two pieces of calico, two needles, 10 skeins of colorful embroidery floss to complete two kit projects, iron-on transfer sheets for all 10 projects, and book with step-by-step -step instructions for all 10 projects, plus tips for customizing them to make them unique to you. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, like I've said, I've never done embroidery. Um, so, I'm excited to learn. Right, let's open it up and see what is inside. That's some cute packaging. There's some cute packaging. We've got, all right, come on. Floss and two needles. One looks sharper than the other. Our six inch hoop. And some fabric. I guess one side is the what did it say? Linen. It says two pieces of fabric and two pieces of calico. All right. And then the book. Oh, and the transfers. Cool. Why do they have to fold it on the, on the pattern itself? I really want to do this one. And I really like this one. All right. I like the mischief managed one too. And then you got nine and three quarters that goes inside there. Fun. Okay, well, we don't need all of those yet. Stick those in there. Not actually, I'm probably gonna have to break out the iron that I only have for crafting purposes. <laughs> so, let's see here. Oh, Introduction. Okay, cool. It says that it only has the ingredient or the it only has the materials for those two projects but it has a detailed materials list for the with the other project instructions what you need quite obvious I guess all of these are six inch projects Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's neat. So you don't actually take it off the hoop. I'm going to need more hoops, uh, which is fine. They're cheap. But you, it, it's suggesting that you actually close it off, pull the fabric around the, uh, the hoop. 
very neat. Okay. And let's see. Basic stitches. I may want to practice these somewhere else. Oh, look at the little Hermione. French knots. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I have a feeling that this is not just something you jump into. Simple technique, suitable for the beginner or more experienced. There's no D there. More experienced stitcher alike. That ain't no ordinary cut on your forehead, Harry. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna need some practice, methinks. Oh, I love that Dobby one, he's so cute. Oh, that one though. That one though. I really like that one. Oh good, they have them in DMC. Sweet. Oh. Okay. Love this one. <laughs> this is probably the one I'm going to start with just because it is so, it seems pretty simple. It's basically just back stitching like you would in cross stitch. Glow in the dark? Or white. What? You're telling me I can put glow in the dark? Oh, for the windows. <gasps> oh man, I might have to do glow in the dark. DMC 940. Is that included? These aren't labeled. It's probably just the white. What? I didn't realize they had glow in the dark DMC floss. <laughs> Suggested materials, a six inch embroidery hoop for display. You can use a six inch hoop to work on your embroidery, but I prefer to have a little more room around the piece. My preference would be an eight inch hoop and a stand so you could use both hands and not have to hold the hoop itself while you stitch. It does not look like a one, oh four, and oh three. I've never seen single digits in DMC floss. Well, I guess they're not single, they've got the zero, so it's double digits, but still. Like, mm. Two strands of luminous glow in the dark or bright white. Yeah, I gotta have the glow in the dark. So I guess I'm gonna have to go to the store. Oh, and they've suggested using watercolor paint. Okay. More smart. Looks so good. Better be Gryffindor. Some of these, I don't even know if I would want the words. So this one you do two different colors. Yeah, white and red. Interesting. That's why they have two separate pieces, I guess. Alrighty then. Alright. Since I don't have the glow in the dark um, thread, I think I'm going to start on this one. Seems simple enough. Um, yeah. Anywho, I'm going to start on this project. So that means I got to go get the iron and iron on the transfer.
did it transfer? Yeah, actually, kind of did. Okay. So, I got it transferred. It's a little messy because I'm not good with an iron. I could not tell you the last time I used it. And this looks like it can be used again, so sweet. Some of it's a little faded, some of it's a little crazy, but I think it will work. One, two, three, four lines. Yeah, it'll work. I'm gonna clean up my workspace and then I'll start stitching. Okay, I've got my needle threaded. I've got a knot in the end. <laughs> I bobbined up the, uh, the thread off camera because it was annoying the crap out of me. And so I'm going to start. I'm supposed to do back stitches around the outline and then also to fill it in. So I'm going to do some of that. Let's see if I can get this going. I've never worked with um, linen. I've only ever done, I've only ever done cross stitching. So this is interesting. One stitch. That's one stitch, baby. Wait a minute. How did I do that? Anywho, I got one stitch. And I did not practice my stitches before doing this. I just decided, you know what? I'm going all in. All right, I'm going to do this back stitching around the outline off camera now. Uh, I can't imagine why anybody would find it entertaining to just sit here and watch. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll be back when I've got the outline done. Ooh, halfway around. I've made it around. Now I'm gonna do the inside um, outline of the glasses and then I will fill it in. Fun times. All right, got the outline done. Now I'm just gonna fill her in. Now I'm going to start with the filling in. Alright, I'm going to go off camera and work on filling this in some more. Alright, there is the finished glasses. They're pretty cute. Next comes the scar. Alright. Now we've got the glasses done. Got a little bit of tension in here that I did not intend for. Okay, it pulled out, got it, okay. This is all new to me. So we're supposed to do the satin stitch on the, um, the lightning bolt.
All right, got the lightning bolt done, eyeglasses done. Now we get to work on these scarves. All right, so now we do the chain stitch. And we start from the inside, start from the inside working out. We do the the golden yellow color on the darker sections. Well, there we go. First row of chain stitches. Now I just get to do a bunch more. <laughs> I think I will do a few more rows on camera and then I will do some off camera and come back to show you the update. So we've got our first little gold chain section going on and now I'm going to go off camera and when I finish this quarter I'll be back to show you. Alright, gotten this far. It feels really cool. I really dig that about embroidery. Um, so I'm just going to keep on going. All right, moving on to the next section of gold stripes and I will do that off camera and come back to show you as I complete each section of gold. Got two sections done. Three quadrants down. One quadrant to go. One quadrant done. Three to go. Two quarters down. Got one more quadrant to go. And then we're going to do some tassels. All the quadrants are done. Now it's time for the tassels. I am ready to do the tassels. So I'll make eight groups of seven and then I'll be back. All right, got all my tassels cut. I think I'm gonna start in the middle. So 
That way I can ensure that I don't get off track. We got our tassels, now I'm just gonna trim them. All right, we got tassels on one side of the, one side of this scarf. I gotta get the lint roller out. But uh, there, I'm gonna do the other ones. And then I'll be back. It's finished. This was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. Uh, definitely we'll be doing this again in the future. Uh, not maybe, maybe not this particular pattern, but now that I have some of the uh, basics, I guess you could say, of um, embroidery down, I think I can tackle some of the, uh, the more difficult projects in this kit. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it, and have a great day.